So tonight, what we'll be doing is we're going to be cutting some stuff from a wonderful book by a gentleman called Jean Bernard Germy. I think maybe Germy. Uh, the book um, is called Entitled, might be a better word. Um, you can tell it's been a while since I did this. Um, is entitled, uh, scroll bench left, there we go. It's entitled People and Pets Making Wooden. People and pets with personality. These are super simple. You'll have seen these around all over the place. Um, lots of people cut them. Lots of people make them. But lots of people kind of get a hold of the pattern and uh, and don't really give the credit where credit's due to, which is to Jean Bernard. You can pick up this book on Amazon. It contains a whole bunch of patterns. You know, we have various animals, creatures, some wonderful, wonderful keepsakes. They're all simple to make. Every one of these patterns you can do in even the cheapest saw. Um, they're all outside cuts, except for a little drill hole here and a little drill hole there. Okay, we're going to be doing a couple tonight, I hope. Um, we're going to be doing a chap bending forward to the dog and a girl, you know, I mean, leaning her head into the dog too. Like I say, these are, these are really simple to make. You know, this won't take us tremendously long. Um, this has been cut on some simple plywood uh, uh, panel. Um, this was an off cut from something we were making. So we're going to use this to lay these guys up. You know, it's all very, all very simple. Usual way of doing this. You've seen me do a hundred times, which is print the pattern, scan it, ideally from the book, or trace it. And then get it on a sticker. Um, and just stick it down on top of the, the wood you want to get it cut from. Simple as simple as that. We're going to drill the eyes later on. Um, actually, no, let's do the eyes now while that's still kind of all laid up like this. I think that would be a good idea. What do you think, gentlemen? Mm. I'm just going to oh, see the pun there. Good idea. Looks, uh, the, you could probably do with uh, putting the, the plywood up a bit. That's it. Now, when you do the deal, I'm sure you've told this before, but when you do the the stuff under the, um, the labeling, uh, stickers, whatever they are, do you use expensive ones with good glue or cheap ones with? Oh no, um, let's use let's use some cheap cheapy glue. glue. Cheapy glue. We're change that drill bit to something a tiny bit smaller. Um, oh, cheap ones. Do definitely use the cheap ones because the good ones have this have got this fantastic, fantastic property which you're paying for, which is they stick. You know, it stays stuck. Whereas when you want to get these labels off or these stickers off, you kind of want them to just kind of fall off into the, the, as you go through it. So that was a number seven, number seven hole. And this one's a number five, roughly where the eyes are. Oh, setting off there. What's wrong with you? Why don't you stay in? <coughs> Would you like our eyes. In tonight, deal? Go on then, sir, while we're getting set up. No, okay. We have got Wood Wizardry by Colin. We've got Lawrence from Henry's Scroll Soul Work 69. Uh, we've got Rob from Copper Owl. Uh, Chris Charlton. Just going down the list. Obviously, uh, Mr. Bigfoot's in here. I think Valerie is watching on a, he's, he's, a he's different TV. That guy. Tommy's workshops in. Cool. Going, going down the list. While you're checking that, I'm going to start cutting. Each other. Oh, okay. Right. Did I see a Rob from Copper Owl? I think I probably did. did. Fred Tien. Yes, yes, well. Uh, 
Uh, Andy's in. Andy Pugh's in. Evening, Andy. One of the problems with having such Red a long uh, saw is you've got to walk down. for miles to turn it back on. So. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Martin, Bruce is in. Evening, mealman. Good evening, everyone. And that's it. Us up to date on that. So we're using a little bit different tonight. We're using a number 12 blade. Because the wood's is thick, we just want to make sure we're and a nice clean cut, and it wouldn't take us all year to cut. As I said, you can find this, the book that these patterns all come out of on Amazon. Uh, if you're looking for one, there's a link in the description below. Andy's just come in. Hello, Andy. Hi, Andy's just come in, and Sugar's just come in. Hello, Shug. That's uh, eight, eight, Andy H. Um, uh, what's Hello, that Andy H. Here? So the <coughs> the the number twelve blade that is that mm. um, less TPI or less TPI, uh, much bigger teeth. You see this one you can you can cut all of these patterns on a normal a normal on a, even a simple scroll saw you don't need anything big or expensive you know at this time of year you very often find a scroll saw on Aldi or little even something like that so you could cut this the you could cut these patterns with a, a, a pin blade Obviously, you're, you're using a, a pinless, so you could. And the braid block. I'm maybe hammering Oops. into that a bit much. Dear, oh dear. Tell you what, didn't break, popped out of its hanger. Didn't put it in tight enough. But it's now a fantastic shape. Look at this. Yeah. What a disaster. Oops. Would you put that one back in, or would you just put... No, I'll just write that one off. Start. I'll write that one yeah. off to... Oh, that was fun. But yeah, if you were... To the point you were asking, Wayne, I don't know if you can see the teeth on that. Much, very much, you know, the bright you can see them. Yeah, but I was... Yeah, I was just sort of getting some info for the chat. Chris Charlton, uh, 1033, has said, drink. No, no drink, it didn't break. Didn't break. It's a good shout. Chris Charlton says, "Sorry, but always the other ear." Would you like to um, tell? Would you like to tell everybody? <laughs> would you Would you like to tell everybody what type of what what saw you use and deal? Um, I would, but I need to go and look again. Um, the AT seven six two, um, Axminster. Um. Answer to your question, Mr. Charlton. Uh, my name's Wayne, Wayne Bigfoot Woodcraft. I, mainly on Instagram, I do all sorts of rubbish. Um, I mean, we're definitely having some fun tonight. There's the first one done. We'll just finish him off in a minute. I like this, this blade. want to move it down a bit so it stays on better. That's... Uh, Mr. Heel says, hi guys, still trying to get Jacob to sleep. Bit of a cheat, putting your your video on to get him to sleep, Neil, but... Uh, Give it a go. It works. Well, there is <laughs> Give it a go. Well, you, you could try a, you could try a drop, of, uh, drop of whiskey, Andy. Yeah, <laughs> That'll and, work. Then you, uh, and then you won't care. <laughs> 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 All right, let's just, let's just get on with this. Oh. That's better. Yeah, Chris has said, all oh, right, okay. The diorama guy. Yeah, that's Wayne. Yep, that's him. I'm glad he didn't write diarrhea guy. 
Um, I wear Bigfoot <laughs> Are you aware? Are you aware? That's a really clear picture there, Dale. Awesome. Good. It is. Now, the, 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 what you'll find is that for people that don't know scroll sewn, that um, with Dale's scroll saw, you, all the movement of the blade is at the end of the arm, whereas with uh, a lot of the cheap ones, all of the movement comes from the rear end of the of the saw. Really smiling, a little dog. Cool. So there's our first one. There you go. We'll get on to the chap now, shall we? Bit of a chap. Douglas Muggum's just come in. Douglas Muggum? Yeah, I mean, caught him running down the street. Mug that guy. Um, <laughs> Martin Brisa says, You know I have learned a lot from watching YouTube videos, but I am yet to find a video that shows a person where to find talent. Talent comes with practice, Martin. Oh, I don't know. Do you know what I didn't do? Set up a camera where you could see these standing up. That would have been pretty cool. Oh well. That's what these sort of things is for though, isn't it? Mm-hmm. <coughs> uh, once you finish them, deal, stick them on the lathe bed. And do the teal stock shot. That might work. These sort of patterns, I think you can make really good. Christmas present anybody uh, quickly. Uh, yep, I mean they're not. I mean they are really designed to be. Uh, it's Douglas all outdoor cuts. Sorry, outdoor cuts. Outside cuts. Sorry, Wayne. Yeah. Um, Douglas is asking how how you are, Dale. A wee bit sore, sir. A wee injury. I'm nothing. Other than that, we're grand. Shug has answered uh, Martin about the talent, and he said, "Well, we used to find talent at one of the best clubs in town." But for for those of you across in the states, uh, a lot of the time when men mention talent in the UK, it means women. I think Andy's put a, an answer into Martin as well about talent. Is that you find it in the Aldi three row for one ninety nine? Well, hey, <laughs> along with that, yeah, Joe, along with, in a, along in with Aldi, the... <laughs> which is where they put the, which, which is where the, yeah, which is where they put the special buys. <laughs> Oh, 
Ian the shed's just come in. Hi Ian. Hi Ian. So this is 18 mil, I think. Plywood board. Plywood pl pine board. How's the picture, gentlemen? Nice and sharp. The picture is absolutely perfect, Jill. A pity we had those wonderful little audio oh, glitches as well. from Klingspore. Good evening, Hi, Rob. Hi, Rob. How are you? I must confess, I won't be using Klingspore tonight, so sorry, Rob. I'll be using, I don't know where I bought it, stuff probably all day. <laughs> Not there. This guy may have a big divot out his head. So there's our little guy. There we go. Oh, I just got thrown out of me computer. Did you? Yeah, it was me. Um, Kind of where we're going with us. Picking up the wrong, wrong router. Picking up the router at bottom of the garden instead. We'll do some sanding on these. We'll do some staining at the end. And we'll just see where we go. How's the noise off the saw, Wayne? Is it quite loud? No, it's absolutely it's fine, deal. Code to mine, you've and got Rob 17 in the chat now. Well done, that's cool, okay. thank you. Just don't expect a Christmas card this year. <laughs> like I say, these are from the book uh, People and Pets. Cover all sorts of things. They're nice and quick to make. They don't require an expensive saw or running blades through tiny little holes and spiral blades. So pretty much anything you can buy, any scroll saw you can buy, even a Dremel Moto saw or something like that. Super simple. No real drama. And Dances with Aardvox has just come in. I can't remember that name. How are you, sir? No. So let's just get rid of all this excess in one go. As I said, this is likely to be a quick one tonight. So get rid of that bit we don't need. Yeah. And Andy E.H. is said, it's grand deal, perfect sound and crisp picture. Awesome, sir, you've made my night.
I would say for the, the close-up on this one though, the camera probably needs to go up a, a wee smidge. Okie dokie. One for later. It's the same camera. So because it's a 4K, actually a 2K camera, it's uh, it's just getting the positioning right for the for the um, insert. I will just go ahead and cut this out the way I was intending. Yeah, because all we're getting on the close up down in the all we're getting on the the close up down in the corner is your fingers. Yeah, Jane just said them chubby wee fingers. Chubby! <laughs> and Colin's just said, it's nice to have you back doing lives again, Deal. Oh, we don't know if we're making this much of a regular appearance, but thank you, Colin. Let's see how tonight goes. Knees a little sore. Oh. As you're going, seeing how tonight goes, you've got 20 in the chat. Thank you very much, everyone who turned up. Most welcome. Fill up a chair, the beers in the corner, whiskey, fruit juices, even tea and coffee. And for those of a Scottish disposition, there's, a bottle, there's several bottles of Iron Brew. Okay. With yeah, these guys, not paid promotion. Not great promotion. Not, not unpaid promotion. Yes. Once you get up to twenty-one, value will probably take. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Once you get up to twenty-one, value will probably tell you off so you don't get too complacent. <laughs> There's got to be a song or something like that. What we need is Shug to find us a song that says, please don't go. Wood Wizardry by Colin says he'll have a single malt. I'm assuming he means whiskey, not vinegar. I think he means vinegar. <laughs> yeah. You can't beat a glass of non-brewed condiment. <laughs> Yeah, Shug's, Shug's started on the... Th th oh, can't even see it. Thistley Cross. <laughs> Good man. And the pie from Douglas. Oh, hey. Right. Pie from now Douglas we're talking. Bakery, that is. I, pre I prefer... I've got to say... I've got to say, I prefer a pie from Douglas Mungham. Oh. You can... Ian in the shed has said, and I don't think I've heard of this one before. He's got a Glen Far class. I don't think I've heard of that. This may be a wind up. Uh, James Crawford's just come in. Hi, James. James. Thing, a little doggy done. Thing, a little doggo. Can say when you got about sanding to do on these guys. I'll get to that in a minute. Where are we going to come in from? I uh, will catch up here. I kept seeing these patterns online, people cutting them. Not tending to give a lot of credit to John, who originally did them. So I thought, do you know what? 
I actually really like these, so I'll find wherever the patterns are coming from. I'll pick up a copy of the book. Depending on where you are in the world, if you're in the US, you can pick up a copy of the book for about $12. Um, brand new. In the UK, it's about 15 but I would urge you to have a look um, at the used section. You might be able to find something in there that better meets your budget. Uh, great. Colin has said that he might treat himself but he might treat himself to a bottle for Christmas. I think he's going back to that uh, single malt. I would suggest, Colin, if you are going to treat yourself, treat yourself to a bottle of Talisker. Talisker? Or Niku? Perhaps? Although young Glenn mm. did give me a bottle of something nice which we need to crack open. At the earliest opportunity with a few friends. Now, yes, if, if you want, if, if you... <coughs> if you... Yeah. But if you do want to go for a, a, a blended whiskey rather than a single malt, do go for a, a Japanese uh, Nika. I think I'm saying this is a Pegasus um, number 12, so it's quite aggressive. Oh, Ian's just sent me a, a message on Instagram about the uh, Glen Parkers, so I will have a look at that. Thank you, Ian. Does sound like the kind, I mean, I've never heard of it before, so I'm showing my ignorance too. I suspect it's a space site or some description. Well, he sent me a link, uh, so I'll have a look and let you know. Uh, Wood Wizardy Bar Colin says, Is Talisker Sky any good? Yes, no, so awesome. We've just, bought, we've just bought two bottles for Christmas presents today. I've been to, I've actually been to the distillery right out in the edge of, of uh, the Isle of Sky. It's awesome stuff. Ah. And Scott says, one of my favourites. He's just Scott Blue Lights Heard has just said, just pour Canadian yeah, to uh, say hi. Morning, Scott. Right. Uh, Colin has said, is Talisker Sky any good? Yeah, it is. It's a very nice um, one of my favourites. Whiskey. I've got to say, mind you, a lot, a, a lot of them are. This is as Taylor says, is the, the books on uh, available on Amazon, fifteen thirty eight with delivery of twenty fourth December. It's worth taking. If you guys, if, if these catch your eye and we're go. done, I would urge you to get yourself a copy of the book. So you have a look around. Don't just follow the Amazon piece, but like I say, it's an easy, easy patterns, and they're the kind of thing that if you spend a bit of time on them and sand them up or stain them or cut them from different woods or put some milk paint on them and give the ore a good wax finish um you know quick to make everyone loves them you know everyone has a friend who's got a, a pet or lost a pet um and they're really good for keepsakes kind of thing you can stand at a fair and make in front of people all day and you can do it in a saw that costs no money so so scott has said he, he tried to sneak off work and now he's on the way to del deliver a baby so he's watching on route so are you watching this or are you watching the baby being delivered scott i tell you tell you what one of the things i miss about living down south there's all the delivery services you can get. I mean, you can get pizza, you can get Chinese, you can get baby. You know what I mean? It's just it's just anything you like. Okay. So we're going to quickly skip back to the scroll bench. So here we go. Here's here's our here's our, our, our patterns um, that we made. So, you know, here's the, here's the how they kind of look unfinished. We're going to do a little bit more to them first. I've missed out this lady's mouth. Kind of thing. I uh, have a comedy remark to make in that respect, but I'm not going to. I'll leave it to Shug. 
<laughs> Keep it classy, Shug. Don't keep it classy, Shug. Just go for it. <laughs> um, um, right. So, as we were saying earlier on, as Wayne correctly pointed out, these the the cheaper the blade, uh, cheaper the label, the easier they are to peel. Because if you put a good label on these things, the whole point of a good label is it's supposed to stick. But if you buy the cheap ones, you know they just fall apart, kind of thing when you're coming off. But that's neither here nor there. But the main advantage is is they come off. The glue is really Really simple here. We'll have a look at these uh, eyes in a minute, see if we can do something to improve them. And we'll turn this off. Right, Henry's uh, scroll with... saw is said uh, that's very cool with lots of red exclamation marks. Yep, it just kind of reaches out, doesn't it? Very easy to make, quick. Right, Rob is asking a sugar question, and I think... No, go on. I was going to say anything, mate. Just quite easy to make. That was all I was going to say. Okay. Uh, Rob is asking a sugar question, and this, I'm, I'm sure, is about um, sanding flap discs. Uh, 115 mil or 125 mil. Oh, I think we can make it to Jakarta. <laughs> uh, my only problem with these, Dale, is the fact that uh, Valley will be sending me down to the workshop. I've got some good beach. Yeah. And she'll be pinch yeah, she'll be pinching it. <laughs> so the way you want to do it, man. Okay. Valerie, get your order in, love. <laughs> Yeah, I'll be pinching me my wood. So we can, you know, so, we can oh. get an idea of contrast a little bit. We'll do we'll do some sanding on the edge of these. Finishing is really up to you. You can do as much or as little as you like. We're gonna do a, a quick buff on these just to get rid of any of the the sort of stringy bits from the cut from the saw. You can kinda of see them. Where's the camera? You can kinda of see the, the stringy bits on the, the edge. We'll just buff those down a little bit. But you can sand this to the cows come home. I'll start with a... Now the other thing to remember is if you're cutting off, pulling off with pine and you're taking a label off, don't dig your nail in, you'll leave a dent. Like I just did. Anyway. <laughs> um, yes. A good old Rolton from back in the day. This is a... Uh, only got a little bit of... I think this is uh, 240 on it. I can't remember. And all we're doing is we're taking the, the raggy bits off the edge as we go through this just to improve the look of the thing. Like I say, this was done on cheap pine. We weren't going for the finished polished article that we'd probably do, but these will be lovely by the time we're done. Round the edges, it creates a softer impression. Careful of any pointy bits that might be poking out, you know, it could get into trouble. Um, that's what she said. Well, that's where I was going there, kind of thing. I just thought, oh, wait a minute, I might get in trouble here. Hashtag pine two. Wood Wizardy by Colin says he's just got an old oak table off free circle. So there's a nice solid top to make stuff out of. Good man. Uh, I've done that quite myself a few times. A good tool to have is a metal-backed uh, emery board. You can get these on eBay, Amazon. You can change the stick on the top. And they're really good for getting into all those roots and crannies where you couldn't sand otherwise. Crooks and nannies. Noots and crannies. M2. Crooks and nannies. Sounds like a movie from Disney back in the 60s. So yeah, so there she is. When I do Rover over here, Rover over here has got some. Do you know, I haven't managed to find. Well, I haven't managed to find my 
Um, <coughs> yeah, this will do. Courtesy of um, Mr. Gilbert. We'll just clean that hole a little bit. Cool. And we'll give this a, a little stain. Like I say, we're just buffing these down just to give it the look of the thing. You get the idea. If I was doing this to give them as a gift to someone, I'd spend a lot more time on them. Maybe 10 minutes. <laughs> Just about there. Right. So here these two are. So again there. So question now, question. I think we'll do these with a bit of unicorn spit and a little bit of oak dye. And we'll wrap these guys up and we'll keep these ones for another day. What do we think so far, folks? Rough. Looking good. So, Unicorn Spit is really meant to be used in much larger surfaces, so this will super quick wind up everywhere. So, you know, you don't need a lot of this stuff. Um, and what this will do. Put it on. I think it's a gel based. I can't remember exactly. I'd have to have a look. Get into camera. Um, Is this where you regret not wearing gloves, Dale? I'll be back in a minute or two. I've got one glove on, mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wrong hand. <laughs> yeah. I might just add the other one in a second. <laughs> you know. Yeah, we're going to add another glove on the other hand, I think. <laughs> Just while going is good. Note to self, buy white gloves. Well, well you've got Andy Pugh, said they look great. Um, Woodwitter is by Colin, love him. Fred Taylor, excellent Dale. Cool. Like I say, just quick. Not really meant to do anything, you know, really going after these from the point of view of um, making something super. Um, complicated tonight. I'm a bit, like I say, I'm a bit sore, so we'll see how we get on. When you're um, uh, when you when you make it something that thick, is there a lot of vibration through the? It's quite noisy through your hands. On the saw, you've got to hang on to it a bit more. Definitely, there's more to grab. Yeah. You know what I mean. Mm. So, like I say, you can't spit. Maybe should have gone for the, the oak dye. Less thick. You know. A good source of good ply, uh, plywood, uh, uh, pine, is you scrapping at your local Ikea. You usually have that damaged pieces. And, There's uh, always something in that bin that's worth uh, having. Yeah. Oh, yes. Apart from what is Sheffield, please don't go to that one. Uh, no, that's all that's mine. Yours. That's all mine. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I've had quite a lot of good stuff from there, especially the white face hardboard. Seems to be an abundance of that. Yeah, we'll just um, do one of these guys, I think. Mr. Huey Lions Art said they need a bit of blue. Everything needs a dab of blue. Okay. Yeah, no, I've seen well, like your movie collection. Which in a chubby brown sort of sense. <laughs> of the words. Say, I've seen your movie collection, Dewey. Yes. <laughs> Steady on. Shuggy does Dallas. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, we'll just do the back on this guy a little bit. Give him a wipe down in a second. Shuggy does Dallas. You know, I love the way, like I say, thinking back, maybe uh, you know, can't spit with the wrong stuff. There we go. I don't know. A new lane. A new mm -hmm. line for uh, Rob from uh, Clingsport, Blue yeah. Abrasives. 
Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. Sounds like sounds like something you pick up in a in a certain type of specialty store. <laughs> you know, frequented by folks that go to clubs in London. <laughs> Nearly there. Uh, JP off. Woodworth's come in, saying evening all. Uh, oh, we say no wrong way when we Hi, over. Jamie. Yeah, uh, says no wrong way blue move. <laughs> Depends. Blue Thunder. Can't think of any other yes. blues. Blue Lagoon. <laughs> yeah. So the blue again might take us in the wrong direction. <laughs> yeah. Um. Right. Let's give him a chance to just stand there. Dry off a minute so we check we missed any bits. Right. Rob. Rob's answered that and said, "Lol, all zirconium-based abrasives are blue." Oh. <laughs> A.K.A. Oh -ho. UE abrasives. <laughs> Sugar rotty. All right. Jamie's asking how everybody's doing. We're all doing well, Jamie. Thank you. Ian in the shed says he's not sure. Ian in the shed, he said he's not you. You go ahead. Uh, it looks messy, though, he says. Well, that's no, stuff on, messy. Oh. You've started. Yeah. That's a mess. He says it. Yeah, it says not use unicorn speed. Looks messy though. Actually, getting it off the unicorn from the unicorn is the messy bit. Yeah, this one's brown. I'll let you work out where end that came out. <laughs> okay. And sugars answered Rob saying, "Yes, Rob. Huey's Bluey's flappers. Ooh, uh. it's a bit, a bit mad, mad." <laughs> Cool. Right. Okay. I'll give this and a GP little... GP has answered everybody saying he's all good. There's... Okay. And you've still got 20 in. That's 20 good folk who've not got bored and they're quite happy to watch. Yep. So, what we'll do is we'll stand this guy up and that's going to be pretty much us, I think. Well, I don't know about that. They might... They might have all gone to sleep and just left the telly on. <laughs> <laughs> right, we stand this on the scroll saw. Okay, so let's get the gloves off. Oh, that'll work, yeah. yeah Ian in the shed to... is asking, has everybody got their tickets for makers next year? No. I haven't. Jury's still out, Ian, whether I'm going or not. It's. Uh... There we go. How about that, folks? Oh, nice one. Nice, simple, yeah, quick. And the Pew says the contrast is great. Really well. Between the two. I wish I could zoom that in a bit more. Let's see how we get on. Let's scroll so zoom. Does that bring us any closer? Oh, it brings us any closer, but there we go. So the idea. Yeah, it does. Longer. It's just a bit too far. Yeah, it's a little bit too tight. But there we go, folks. Like I say, we've got these other two, which we'll finish up later. Standing behind. I don't know. Maybe just move these guys down a bit. No, it's a, I, I, I prefer that one. Which one? The dog one? Man the dog? Okay, doke. Well, there we go. Can, Can I bring you two gentlemen back in? I can't see you doing that pause with brain. Can you... Can you uh, wait? Oh, no. Nice. We're going to be going... <laughs> The both <coughs> Brenner, we're going. Huh. Huh. <coughs> Trying to uh, eat Jamie's smoke. I seem to. Oh no! I tell like Glenn smoke. Oh no! That that that'll, that'll never work with Bryn. You no know? way at all. <laughs> you know, eating eating that smoky stuff kind of thing, one way or the other. Right, folks. So thank you very much for coming in, letting us test out the rig and make a little something. Check out the book. Like I say, yeah, the book is. Be, um, yeah. Where's the book? Yeah, he, he, he would he would be up all over everybody. He's mad. <laughs> so like I say, the book is Making Wooden People and Pets with Personality. It's from 
John Bernard, uh, I'm going to say Germ here. You know, here's the chap. Here's the chap himself. Check out the book. Not expensive. You know, I mean, give the guy some money. Keep these things being made. Like I say, we have we have options in here for, and as he says, what I mean, super simple saws, dead easy, dead easy blades, simple coloring options, and uh, just lots and lots of really nice, simple patterns. You can cut on any saw, and like I say, I mean, they are they just reek keepsakes kind of things. So they're perfect for craft fairs or for gifts. All right. So on that note, we'll bring their, everyone back in. So you get, say goodbye, Wayne. Bye, folks. That was the wrong one. Say so well, goodbye, Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> we'll get this crap out of the way. Thank you, everyone, for coming in. Hope you enjoyed the little something-something we did tonight. Night -night. And we'll take it, take it up later. All right. Night -night. Cheers, everyone. Bye-bye.